I'll be in the grave. Yes, this is being uploaded about four months late, but just quickly before we get into the video, I wasn't going to upload this at first. This is the final video I've made of festival season 2021, Love Saves the Day Festival. And to be honest, I didn't take as much footage as I usually would for most of the festivals I go to, so it's definitely a bit shorter than my other videos. I thought I'd upload it anyway, even though a lot of it is basically just me reviewing chips. But um, yeah, still, good, good chip reviewing content for you to enjoy. And of course, it's got the usual review at the end. Next year, or this year, I should say, now it's 2022 already, we've got a lot planned for more festival content in the future. And we're gonna clear up some of the issues I've had with the previous videos. Some of the clips in there, you can't really hear me talk as much over the noise. So we're gonna get a mic attachment for, ne for the next videos in future. We're gonna get a better camera. And I've got a lot of plans for some cool videos coming up. So stay tuned for that all 10 of you or however many subscribers are actually on my channel. I don't really know if anyone watches the videos to be honest, but if you do, get excited. There's gonna be more stuff in future. We're gonna have better quality videos. I might intersperse the review segment of the video within the, the vlog itself rather than do it at the end. If anyone has any thoughts about that, let me know. And um, that's basically it. Enjoy this late upload of Love Saves the Day for it's only time for the bloody sixth festival of festival season 2021 and this might be my last one. It's Love Saves the Day in my hometown of Bristol. We're going to go and smash it. It's about 10 to 1 now. I'm going to go for a mate's house for prees. We're going to get down there. We're going to have an absolutely cracking time despite the fact that I've had five festivals in a row and I'm feeling the effects now. I'm feeling worn out. But it's not going to stop me. I'm excited for this one. I'm just going on the Sunday and you can see the lineups here. We've got Slow Tie closing the main stage. Um, he's the main headliner. That should be pretty mad. We've also got a good selection of drum and bass there. Um, got some good house and disco and funk and stuff. Bradley Zero is always a good shout. I saw him at Wee Out here for the first time and his set was absolutely amazing. So I might try and catch him if I can as well. But yeah, Love Saves Today. I last went in 2017. It was absolutely mad. So... Let's have it. And the weather is absolutely scorching for it today. Bloody hell. I'm on the old Western Gold Lidl's Bourbon and Coke. <laughs> Fucking yeah, gotta be done, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the hottest festival I've been to in 2021. I'm so glad I put the sun cream in the bum bag because I'm the whitest fucker going and I'm gonna absolutely burn unless I lather that shit up. So I'm gonna get to that because it's absolutely scorching. It feels about 28 degrees, but um, we're here, we're here. Are you Chips I'm review at Love Saves a Day. Love Saves a Day. I'm ready. It's not really melted. It's, like it's got a nice bit of cheese on there, though. It's a good amount, but we haven't got any seasoning. It's not like when we were doing high rise, uh -oh. and I'm a bit disappointed with that. But uh, uh, a high rise, I had seasoning. No, where's the 
Oh, oh wait, that did was you not white. We had yeah. some spare oh, bags for some salt. High rise is good to bags be fair. This is white people chip. Right. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. It's dry, but it's like a nice. It's like Out of ten. It's like a double cooked tip. Oh, double cooked. I'm gonna rate it. I wanna check my part. I'm gonna say a six out of ten. Six out of ten. Oh, she's a That's harsh like critic, but it's fair. <laughs> Tip for all you festival goers again, yeah? Try something while you're raced, go to the bar, buy a few drinks, and you can slide it and holster it down there. I've shown you this in the We Out Here video. It's the best way to carry drinks. You don't have to queue for the bar as long because you can already have some ready to go and you don't have to carry them around with you all day. That is that's my tip in order to how to get your bevies in and not have to queue at the bar for long. Thank you, Love Saves the Day. That was sick. The speaker systems were loud. It was banging. The sets were live. See you next year. That was banging. Time for the reviews. I'm just going to bash through these reviews quickly starting with ticket price and I'm going to give ticket price a 7 out of 10. To be honest it was a bit on the pricey side at £55 and that was just for the Sunday. Um, obviously you're paying to get um, a few big names on that line up there to go see I suppose like Slow Tie as well as uh, your big drum and bass DJs and your house DJs. But compare that to Summer of Love 2021, quite a bit more pricey. You know, I've mentioned Summer of Love before. I think that was a particularly cheap one for a day festival, especially at the moment. I mean, you get nights out that are more expensive than that these days. So Summer of Love, I think was 28 pound, but 55 pound, you know, it wasn't as expensive as Return to Dance, which I went to in London as well. You can see a video on that, but it was still slightly on the spendy side, but I'm gonna give that a seven out of 10. I don't think it's too to it extreme venue and to be honest it was a good venue um they held it in clifton downs this year before when i've been it's been in a smaller park in bristol so there was definitely more space than there usually is so it wasn't too crammed there was plenty of space the stages were pretty cool and unique i like the center the center stage with the colored blocks and stuff and they weren't missing the stage that they had before when i went in 2017 that sort of shoots fire at the top and has like mcs and djs like looming above you and like that one was pretty cool but they didn't have that one anymore overall yeah the venue was good music i'm gonna give a 7.5 out of 10 to be honest i was expecting a bit of a better lineup and most people i spoke to as well to be honest were a little bit disappointed in the lineup compared to previous years tokyo world which unfortunately i didn't get to go to the other big sort of day weekend festival in bristol did have a better lineup i must admit but yeah there were still some good acts there the sound quality was a little bit quiet on some of the stages as well like on the center stage um if you aren't right next to the speakers but i find that's the case with a lot of these day festivals so it could be a bit louder. However, like some of the stages, like the, the dub stage was very good sound quality, very loud and bassy. So yeah, hospitality, we give an 8.5 out of 10. Really good facilities, plenty of loos, plenty of uh, places to get water. I never found you had to queue for the bar much. Um, there were medics, um, obviously, everywhere on site, um, I noticed. So the welfare aspect of it seemed good. So I can't complain with that. So overall, I'm gonna give this, uh, I'm gonna give Love Saves a Day 2021 a 7.5 out of 10. This is probably one I'll go to most years as I'm living in Bristol. But, um, so if you're in the city, I'd definitely say it's worth going to. Um, how it compares to previous years, I don't know if it's necessarily better, but it's definitely bigger. It's definitely on a more spacious site. Um, and hopefully they've got a bit more of a better lineup next year. But either way, I'll be there.